In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called remove duplicates from sorted array. So we're given an integer array that's sorted. We are, we're asked to remove duplicates in place such that each element appears only once. And we're returning the new length of the array that has no duplicates in that, sub, uh, in that array, right? And uh, in this case, we're basically modifying the input array and returning the length of the, uh, of the array that has no duplicates. And we cannot, we're not going to create a new, uh, brand new array or any, anything else. We want to keep the space complexity, in this case, going to be constant. And here you can see we have a example 112. So after we remove the duplicates, we're going to have a size of two, right? So in this case, we have one, two. And uh, in this case, we have 112 here. Remove the duplicates, now we have one, two, right? So so it doesn't really matter what's after the size of two, right? What's, what's, uh, it doesn't really matter what's after index one because the size of the subarray, or I should say the array, is gonna be two. So in this case, we're, all we're gonna do is we're gonna in, modify the input array. And once we modify the array, we want to return the size of non-duplicate values in that array. So in this case, we have two elements in the array that has no duplicates, right? So in this case, we are going to uh, modify this and return the size of the new array. And here you can see we have another example. Uh, in this case, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So it doesn't really matter what's, what goes after these elements. We just care about those elements in the array. So in this case, the size is 5, and we already modified the array, so our job is done. So now let's take a look at how we can do this in code, or how can we solve this problem? So to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to use two pointers. So the reason why we use two pointers here is because we're going to have a left pointer that points to a unique element, and the right pointer is, is there to find a element that is, does not equal to the left element, right? Once we find an element that does not equal to the left element, we're going to um, get the uh, adjacent element of the left pointer um, equal to the element that the right pointer is going to point to then we know we're going to continue to do that until we get to a point where all the elements on the left of the left pointer including the current element that the left pointer is pointing to is unique and all the elements on the right side of the left pointer is going to be somewhat duplicates right so in this case we have a uh, in this case we have a array right so one one two so first we're going to have a left pointer that points to the first element and this, the right pointer is going to point to the second element we're gonna see if they're equal to each other. In this case, if they are, then we're gonna move the right pointer one to the right. Now we have one, two. So because they're because in this case they're they does not equal each other, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an adjacent element of the left pointer equal to the right uh, equal to the element that the right pointer is pointing to. So now we're going to have right, we're gonna have two here, right? Because in this case, left plus one, right? Number uh, nums at left plus one is equal to right, right? Nums at right. So now we're going to um, get to a point where we have the left pointer point to this element, and the right pointer is going to point to the next element. In this case, it's going to be uh, Alabama, right? So now we are, our job is done. We can just return. Now we now we notice that all, all the elements, including the current elements, on the left of the left pointer is basically not duplicates and we can just say that the length of the array is now is going to be left pointer plus one which is going to be two right so now let's take a look at another example where we have zero one right so let's say zero uh, one here so in this case left is zero right is one and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if they are equal to each other um, actually let me just uh, grab this example so let's say we have this example right here, right? We have a duplicates values there. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the left pointer point to this element, the right pointer point to this element. Because this element is the same, we're gonna move one to the right. Now we have a unique element. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get left, a nums at left plus one, which is gonna equal to right, at, uh, which is equal to nums at right. Now we have the left pointer points here, the right pointer now points to here and go out to, ex to explore an element that's not equal to the current element that the left pointer is pointing to. Now we have two. So two is does not equal to one, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
swap, uh, we're gonna change this to two, right? So now we are continue, right? Left pointer is pointed here, the right pointer now go out explain, uh, explore. Now we have three, right? Three does not equal to this current element right here, this element right here. Then we can swap, right? So we can swap this with three, right? So now we our left pointer points to here, the right pointer, remember, is there to explore element that does not equal to the left, the two the elements the left pointer is pointing to. Now we have four. Now four is does not equal to three, so we have four here, and then in this case our job is done because in this case we have those elements is the um, duplicate values, right? So in this case we have non-duplicate values on the left, including the current element. So at the end we're returning the left pointer plus one, which is the size of this array subarray and uh, we already successfully modified the array. So now let's try to see how we can do this in code. So first we're gonna define our base case. So our base case, therefore, in this case, we could have a situation where the array.life is equal to zero or is equal to one, right? So if that's the case, then we wanna make sure we return um, the, the, in this case, the size of the array, right? So, um, then we once we have our base case defined, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on define our left and right pointer, our pointers, right? So define our pointers, and uh, we want to make sure we um, we basically apply the same principle, right? By removing duplicates elements in place, right? So in place. At the end, we want to return the size of the uh, subarray. Right. Okay, so now let's try to implement the first one. So if we have a situation, right, so let's first have n, which is equal to nums.length. So if nums.length is less than two, right, we know that, or I should say n, n is less than two, we can just return n because that's the size of the array we are sure that there's no duplicates if the length is less than two. Now we define our pointers. So we have our left, which is equal to zero. Our right is equal to one because we know that now the array must have a size that's bigger than or equal to two. So we remove duplicates in place. So we focus on saying that um, while right pointer is less than n, right? Less than n, we are going to focus on uh, exploring, right? So what we're going to do is this. If nums at left does not equal to nums at right, right? So let's say we have a situation where 1, 1, 2, right? So if 1 does uh, does not equal to, let's say this, there's a, uh, let's say 1 does not equal to 2, right? So what we're going to do is we want to make sure we move the left corner 1 to the right, Right, so just like example that I showed you here, if one, this one right here does not equal to two, we're gonna move the left pointer one to the right, and then we're gonna get the nums at left is equal to nums at right, right? So then at the end, we wanna make sure we increase the right pointer by one, right? If, uh, if the left pointer does not equal to the right pointer. Now, if we have a situation where the left pointer is equal to the right pointer, we can just increment the right pointer by one, and we're gonna continuously do that, right? So at the end, we get to a situation where we have our left pointer is pointing to a last, the last non-duplicate element in the array. Then we can just return left plus one, okay? So now let's try to re run the code, and let's try to run with a few more examples. Okay, so now let's try to submit. Okay, so here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve uh, remove duplicates from sorted array. Now let's take a look at another problem, which is remove duplicates from sorted array number two. And it's gonna be very similar to how we did it in number one, but the catch is that we can only, uh, we can only remove elements that appear more than what more than twice right so let's say we are we have duplicate values but we cannot have duplicate more than once right uh, more than twice so here you can see we have one 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 two two and three now three, uh, one appeared three times then we're just going to remove that element right in this case we only remove one 
one, one, right? In this case, we're getting one, one, two, two, and three. And if we have this array right here, we have zero, zero, one, one, two, three, three, right? So that's the end, that's the end result. Where in this case, this is gonna be our subarray and the length of that subarray is seven. So let's take a look at how we can solve this problem, which is gonna be very similar to how we did it in the, um, in the, uh, the, the first one, right? So the goal is the same, we want to remove duplicates, but we can we are allowed to have two uh, two duplicates in the array, right? So take this as an example. So to solve this problem, we're gonna use two pointers and as well as a counter that counts how many duplicates that we have so far. So initially we're gonna have zero, and if counter wins beyond one, right? So in this case, if it's beyond bigger than or equal to one, then we will uh, focus on uh, getting the, the left pointer anchored down to the current element and then we will try to get the right pointer focus on finding a, a non-duplicate element, right? So a unique element that we haven't seen before and we want to make sure we get that element um, substitute with the current uh, non set left plus one, right? So let me show you a demonstration here. So we have left and right. So this is our left, this is our right. Uh, we're gonna get so we're gonna see if they are equal to each other. In this case, they do. We're gonna increment the counter by one. Then we're gonna move both of them one to the right, right? So in this case, we're gonna have an uh, element that does not equal to each other. So we're gonna reset this to zero. So nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right. Now it doesn't really change at all. In this case, nums at left plus one is one. One is equal to one. In this case, right, doesn't really change at all much. So now we have one, one. In this case, they equal to each other. So in this case, we're gonna increment that by one. Now we have, uh, now we basically um, move them, both of them one to the right. Now we know that they equal to each other, but the counter is equal to one now. So we have to go and get the left pointer points this element, right? So the right pointer is there to explore, right? So explore other options. So here, here we go and find find that there's uh, there's two. So in this case, if we found two, then we're gonna focus on getting that element, right? In this case, is going to uh, get nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right. Okay, so nums at left is equal to nums at right. So now we have right, uh, nums, at, nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right, so now we have this, right? So now we have the left pointer, which points to here, the right pointer used to point to here, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the counter by to zero, and then we're gonna move both of them one to the right, right? So now we have the right pointer points to here, and in this case, they don't equal to each other, then we wanna make sure we get this current element right here uh, is going to equal, so nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right. So now we have three, right? So in this case, we have this, right? So in this case, we have both move, both, both pointers move one to the right. Now we're going to have three and three. So now you, you can see they are both equal to each other, right? So we increase, increase the counter by one. So what we have to do is we just increase the both counters by one, right? So the thing is that you might notice this is a, this is a problem is that we still need this element because we are, we can allow to have two uh, at most two elements, right? So at, at most uh, do two duplicate elements. So in this case, we have three and three. So what we can do is this. If nums at left is equal to nums at right, then we can just get nums at, uh, we can just say nums at left plus one, right? So if nums at left, so left is equal to this, and then we're gonna get nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right, right? So we wanna make sure we do that so that we can be able to make sure we get those two duplicate um, elements there, right? So now let's try to focus on how we can do this in code. So our first step is to, just like how we did it, we're gonna first define our base case. And then we're gonna focus on defining our pointers as well as our counters, pointers and counters, or just counter, uh, in this case, pointers. Uh, then we're gonna focus on like traversing or iterating the the, the list and um, basically um, Yeah, just try to apply the same thing that we just talked about. So in this case, we, we're trying to remove dupe right and return length 
So return length. So in this case, the base case is that if the, in this case, n is equal to nums.length. So if n is less than three, right, we can say that if, if um, the first element is, if there's only one element or there's two elements, then we can save to say that this is a, this is, we pretty much remove the duplicates, right? Um, in this case, we can say that that's gonna be good. We can just return n, right? So we can just return n from there. Um, and then we're gonna focus on defining the pointers. So in this case, we can have our left, which is equal to zero. Our right is equal to one. And our counter, so our counter is now equal to zero initially. Um, so because so far we haven't seen any duplicates, right? So now we're gonna say while the right pointer is less than n, we're gonna focus on getting the, um, getting, because uh, there could be two situations. One is that we have left and right equal to each other. And the other one is left and right does not equal to each other. And the other situation is that there could be a situation where the counter is bigger than one, right? So if we have a situation where nums at left does not equal to nums at right, does not equal nums at right, then basically what we have to do is we're going to make sure we get left increment by one. Nums at left now is equal to nums at right. Then we're gonna increase the, we're gonna reset the counter, right? So we're gonna reset the counter down to zero. Okay, so that's kind of like our one case there. Otherwise, if we have a situation where nums at left is uh, is equal to nums at right, but we have a situation where the counter is bigger than, sorry, your counter is actually less than one, right? So we haven't found any duplicates uh, yet, right? So then we're gonna make sure we increase the counter by one, of course, and we also going to um, make nums at left equal to nums, nums at right, right? So we make nums at left equal to nums at right because there could be, just like I mentioned here, there could be a situation where we need this element to point to this element right here, right? So in this case, we wanna make sure we get, um, sorry, uh, left plus plus, right? So in this case, we wanna make sure we get the, the adjacent element of the left pointer equal to nums at right, right? Uh, and then we're going to, um, basically do that and uh, at the end we want to make sure we increase the right right pointer by one right so let's say if we have a situation where we uh, have a counter that's bigger than or equal to one then we want to make sure the right pointer is going to go out there and explore right so we explore the unique elements so that we can be able to uh, you know getting the nums at left plus one is equal to nums at right so uh, in this case, at the end, we want to make sure we return the size, which is going to be return left plus one, right? Just like how we did it in the first one, right? The, the first question. So now let's try to run the code. We get a wrong answer. That's because, let's see. Yeah, that's because, so that's because we need to have left pointers incremented before when we get that element, right? So when we get the elements, uh, uh, in this case, left plus one is equal to nums at right. So now let's try to run the code again. And we have our success. So let's try to submit the code. And here you can see we have our success. So this is pre pretty much how we solve this problem in a linear time complexity and constant uh, space complexity. So there you have it. And thank you for watching.